The numbers behind this story are very grim and increasingly we're learning they may be telling an incomplete story. Now, the Office for National Statistics reports the number of recorded deaths every week. For the latest week recorded, the 14th week in the year, up till April the 3rd, 16,300 and 87 people have died. Now, while not all of those were COVID deaths, if you need any further evidence of the severity of this crisis, just look at how that compares to the weekly deaths so far this year. The bars there show every week back to January, and the line shows the five-year rolling average. That latest bar is a huge jump, and it's actually the highest weekly total since the ONS started compiling this data all the way back in 2005. Now, 21.2% of those deaths had COVID-19 mentioned on the death certificate. Let's compare the total number of deaths to those released by the Department for Health and Social Care at the time. You can see while the trend is very similar, there is that big gap there between those two lines. Now, according to the ONS, there were 6,235 deaths in England and Wales by April the 3rd. But at the time, that lower line there, the government only reported just over 4,000. So why this big gap and what does it tell us? Well, firstly, it demonstrates the delay in reporting, but also it tells us something about the gaps in the government numbers. If we take, for example, the deaths registered by April the 3rd, 4,122. Just 90% of those happened in hospital, leaving 10%, 406 there to be exact, that happened in the community. Now, 217 of those deaths were in care homes, 136 happened within people's homes, 33 were in hospices, three were in other communal places, and 17 were described as having happened elsewhere. So far, only hospital deaths have been included in the government numbers. Now, if we bring back that first column that showed the latest weekly death numbers, the concern here is not just those COVID deaths that have caused the jump in those numbers above that five-year average, but it's also the other deaths. There's a chance that some of those extra deaths there could have happened as an indirect result of the pandemic, perhaps people not presenting at hospital when they should be. As the crisis continues, sadly, we may not have seen the worst of its effects.